Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Best Way to Play video. We're going to be looking at Ratchet and Clank a Rift Apart. In this video I'll give you my best tips and tricks for finding all the collectibles, upgrading weapons and killing enemies. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and stick around to the end of the video for something special. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number 6, Strafe. In Ratchet and Clank you can move sideways while aiming using L2 or from the hip. It's a great way to shoot your enemies while dodging their attacks. But remember to observe your surroundings though. Enemies can spawn and approach from around you, so set your camera to a high sensitivity and fast motions quickly spin around and avoid taking damage. I use sensitivity rating 6. Coming in at number 5, use the right weapon for the right enemy. The best weapon to use will vary from enemy to enemy. For example the Enforcer or Pixelizer, which are basically shotguns, are good weapons to use for a horde of sand sharks as they die easily and have a wide area of effect. The blast pistol is good for goons as it has good accuracy and can pick them off one by one. For bigger, tougher enemies it's best to quickly switch between autonomous weapons like Mr. Fungi that deal damage by themselves once fired and then switch into a high damage single target weapon like the Negatron Collider. Use these methods to mow down your enemies with ease. And number four, this one is super important, explore the maps. The main missions won't take you through the entire map of each level. As you progress, you should regularly check the map by pressing the touchpad as it reveals resources like rifts and raritanium. This is also essential for getting the most bolts possible and unlocking weapons as soon as they're available. You'll also come across hidden items like gold bolts, which are used for customization, and info box, which contain plans for the Rhino, a very desirable OP weapon. The map will also show you how many collectibles there are in a level and how many of them you've collected. Coming in at number 3, revisit planets. As you acquire new gadgets that help you traverse the environment, you should revisit previously explored planets to pick up any remaining hidden items that were previously inaccessible. This will be key to unlocking the Rhino and finding all the gold bolts. Unexplored areas will be highlighted in dark blue, so refer to the, back to the map to see where you haven't been. For number 2, switch up the weapons that you use. Note that in the top right corner, there is a number under the weapon icon. This is the weapons level. Weapons level up the more you use them, so don't neglect the weapons that you use less. When a weapon reaches level 5, it will gain a modifier, which increases its deadliness in some way. The blast pistol, for example, goes from having one barrel to having three barrels. And for my number one tip, upgrade your weapons. There will be many Miss Zircons around the map. Visit her at every opportunity you get and spend your Revitanium. Following on from the last point, as each weapon level increases, new upgrades will become available on the upgrade map, with each weapon having its own unique perks when you buy all the surrounding tiles. And remember not to spend your Revitanium, just spend it to upgrade your weapons as fast as possible and therefore deal the most damage. Thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, now for my bonus special tip Perhaps is destroy your environment. There are lots of items wow. on the map that can be destroyed for bolts which is a great way of maximising your money to buy all the weapons as soon as they become available. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this helpful, please consider subscribing for more Ratchet and Clank videos, I'll be doing walkthroughs, I'll also be doing videos that show where all the gold bolts are and where all of the info bots are. Have a good one, I'll see you in my next video.